Can you see what you could be? One of the first times I heard about this was the producers calling me on the phone and asking if I would come to Los Angeles. He was considering me for this role of Freddie Mercury. He came in and I was like, whoa, this is Freddie. And he wasn't just acting. It was something that came natural to him. Buddy, you're a boy, make a big noise, playing in the street, gonna be a big man someday. You got mud on your face, you big disgrace, kicking your can all over the place, singing. We will, we will when you set out to play Freddie Mercury, you think, how am I ever going to fill those shoes? <laughs> it's an immense responsibility, but one that I was very eager to take on. So this is Queen, and you must be Freddie Mercury. You've got a gift. You don't want to mimic Freddie. You want to be able to understand why he did what he did. I had some top choreographers come in and realized choreographer's not going to help me. I needed a movement coach. I spent a lot of time with Rami trying to work out little mannerism tricks. Every eye look, every turn, every flick of the microphone. Rami has just disappeared entirely. The way he moves and talks is so Freddy that it's completely magical. All right! Rami has worked so hard. Any given moment, he's always practicing Freddy's moves but also he's found a real humanity to this character that I don't think many people see. We had about 50 hours of costume fittings with heels that were four inch platforms, the tightest fitting satin pants, an entire Lycra outfit. When you dress as Freddy does, it makes every day feel like it's gonna be a good time. We're going to shock an audience. It's one of the best performances I've seen for a very, very long time.